हे फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रेरक्स टेक वर्ल्ड सो लास्ट वीक आई अटेंडेड वन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वेबिनार एंड आई थॉट टू प्रोवाइड सम डिटेल्स ऑन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इट्स अ वेरी बेसिक डिटेल्स एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो और इंफॉर्मेशन वेरी सिंपल वे सो दैट एनी कॉमन और नॉन आई टी पर्सन नॉन कंप्यूटर पर्सन कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वॉट इज मशीन लर्निंग एंड हाउ इट इज यूज इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वाई नाउ देर इज सो मच बर्ज अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग वाई नाउ बिकॉज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज प्रेजेंस सिंस मोर देन से ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बट कमर्शियली इट इज अवेलेबल फॉर फॉर पास टेन ईयर्स एंड फ्रॉम पास थ्री फोर ईयर्स देर इज लॉट ऑफ बर्ज अराउंड अस about artificial intelligence so what all are the reasons behind a uh, lot of hype or a lot of uh, increase in usage of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning so first of all in past couple of years there are lot of data is available around us the data is in the form of say text or video or clickable inputs like uh, youtube video you see every day lot of videos are getting up- updated and lot of data is in the google you will find lot of data is being indexed lot of data is being added not only google say msn site or yahoo site or redis whatever this website there are abundance of data is being created and uh, let me tell you artificial intelligence or machine learning efficiency is purely based on data availability so lot of data i am talking about not meg- megabyte or not gigabyte uh, not a petabyte but not terabyte but it's zettabyte of data is available from past couple of years and all this data can create a very useful model a text data or as i say clickable data video data image data all this data can create can help to create a very uh, useful uh, ai or machine learning model the second factor is computation for any ai model to build it requires a lot of computational power and specifically if we if we talk about uh, cognition uh, i will tell you what is uh, cognitive uh, assistance or what is cognition but before that in a simple way if you want to build a artificial intelligence model or machine learning model you need a lot of high computing power mainly it is based on gpu so gr- gpu stands for graphical processing unit uh, in a very layman term your graphic card or the 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 computing power associated with uh, the graphics the display which you see is it's one kind of uh, uh, output of graphical uh, unit so lot of graphical power is required and this graphical power is it's it's a costly if you want to build a model say 5 years ago you need a lot of uh, highly costly computing uh, machine to be available with you and uh, nowadays thanks to cloud all this uh, high cost uh, say the gpu uh, stands from say 50000 25000 to 1 lakh 2 lakh depend what kind of computation power you require so all this computation power gpu power is readily available in your cloud storage or cloud computation not only that if you want to build a model you uh, in earlier days you need to invest a high end computer with very powerful gpu powerful cpu lot of ram but now when you want to build a model you just need to approach one of the cloud service provider you can hire a cloud uh, library for uh, say a couple of weeks or couple of months or maybe uh, a year or two till the time you think your graphic model your uh, your ai or ml model is ready so the cloud is very much helpful here cloud has uh, helped us uh, building lot of possibilities or opportunities to uh, build a good ai model and uh, it has also reduced the cost so once you, your model is done you need not to pay or invest for a perpetual license perpetual computer or permanent computer uh, which is based on capex but you can go for opex based cloud model so once you are done with your model you can say tata bye bye to your uh, cloud provider and your machine is ready and you can deploy easily the third is uh, 
recent days there are a lot of uh, ai based uh, development is happening a lot of new ideas a lot of new models available so this has also helped building uh, artificial intelligence model and uh, it has helped to incorporate ai and machine learning in our day to day life uh, a simple example i would like to uh, give you on uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning which you may be using but you are not aware of is uh, gboard in your mobile most of the time uh, many people are using uh, swipe text or gboard so what is gboard when you type something say some word and it will predict the next possible word which you wanted to type and it will show you so that is uh, based on machine learning second is second thing is uh, when you go to gmail recently gmail has introduced a feature when when you want to uh, type some particular text it will predict based on your input say hi so it will uh, if, if if the email is already there you if you already provide the, the sender's email it will again uh, provide you uh, predict the name of the person and you just need to say swipe it and that uh, you need not to type that person's name and again as as you start typing it it will predict the next uh, text you which you wanted to type and you just need to swipe it and your sentence is ready so this is kind of very uh, basic machine learning uh, examples now what is artificial intelligence so as per the wikipedia the artificial intelligence is a capability of machine to perform like a human so what are uh, kind of basic uh, capabilities of human so uh, which uh, artificial or computer needs to perform so these are the three capabilities which your artificial intelligence model needs to have based on the requirement or based on the problem so first is a learning so uh, when we talk about learning in the traditional days or a traditional programming when you want to do particular package or when you want to develop particular program a developer software developer will feed some data inside the computer then there will be algorithm and based on the data and algorithm there will be a output generated by the computer and uh, you will get the program next some after some uh, maybe one year or two year there will be some optimization or there will be some new feature request come up from your client so you need to incorporate that feature and for that you need to again review that uh, algorithm you need to apply some changes in your data you need to again build some new algorithm some new input text and based on that new output will come and a new uh, package will be introduced whereas in the machine learning all the data based on the data machine will learn automatically and it will create uh, software so so what kind of learning uh, we are talking about so suppose there is a image uh, one full picture you you take one any picture uh, where it has a bottles and some lion cat dogs so computer needs to identify automatically what is lion what is the object inside the picture and then it needs to identify this is lion this is cat and uh, that is also without any human intervention so over a period of time computer will learn from uh, data what is available with them in a simple way uh, suppose uh, I take an example of child a kid a 2 3 year kid when you provide him a toy car he will recognize oh this is toy car or when you provide him some dog or lion he will understand okay this is lion this is model of uh, car and when he goes out and when he he or she sees a real car or real dog he will uh, relate that uh, toy car and toy dog with the real world uh, actual car and he will uh, recognize okay this is car this is dog so this is all uh, a kind of machine learning or artificial intelligence uh, learning the next is perception the part of the ai or ml ml stands for machine learning so next part is perception so what is perception in our uh, human tendency uh, in, in when it relates to uh, computer so perception is nothing but makes sense from the environment suppose again if i give a uh, example of the image which has a lot of object like uh, lion or uh, bottles or peacock or whatever it is so machine should identify that image and ob from the 
so machine should identify the object from the image that is called the perception again uh, if there is a text it needs the machine needs to identify uh, this is a text or if it is image it needs to identify it is an image or if it is a video again machine needs to identify the video again if there is a meaning inside the text then uh, machine needs to interpret and it say uh, it relates what is the meaning of the text so this is perception the next is a cognition cognition is a very broad term it is very complex but in a simple term if uh, the perception is uh, related to interpretation then cognition is uh, related to capabilities of machine we are all talking about capabilities of machine please remember so uh, cognition is related to capabilities of machine to do the reasoning so what kind of reasoning a very simple example suppose uh, in mumbai you say uh, you want to predict what would be the uh, price of the real estate say after 6 month after uh, after a year uh, after one year when this uh, uh, current situation improves so what machine uh, is required to do based on the data it will uh, analyze the data from past 6 month what is what is the price of say one particular area say bandra or uh, say uh, bodibli or malad it will identify what are the uh, past price from say 3 year 6 month it will relate those prices of uh, say real estate and uh, in next one year or 6 month it will predict Uh, nearby uh, pricing which which may or may not happen but the reasoning what i mean to say the ability of machine to reasoning or that prediction is related to cognition the cognition is a very broader term uh, i am just trying to uh, you know make it very simplify so uh, again uh, any uh, common man or non technical man should understand what is all three learning perception and cognition uh, in a very high uh, level uh, 32000 feet high level of uh, machine learning and artificial uh, intelligence concept so all this uh, uh artificial intelligence and machine learning is only based on the model again if we want to explain what is model let's take an example of traditional uh, uh, software uh, develop uh, developing uh, path or uh, uh, how uh, traditional software is being developed over a period of time so here a uh, developer or a team of developer will feed lot of data to the machine there will be input and then there will be a logic there will be a, some sort of uh, uh, computational involved in it some sort of uh, logic behind it it will be introduced and uh, there will be a computation and then some output will be generated now let's take again example of uh, uh, perception of Uh, say uh, one image which will have a lot of object uh, like cat dog uh, suppose there is a jungle picture where there is a lot of uh, object cat is there dog is there and then uh, bird is there and then tree is there river is there mountain is there sun is there and then you want machine to identify that object so if we go Uh, onto a traditional software development path, then it it is not maybe it is possible. I I won't say it is not possible, but it will be a very tricky and it will be not uh, you know future uh, proof uh, model uh, because uh, suppose in one part of the area when you are roaming about around the jungle, you will find some specific data. say some specific object say you will see deer you will see lion or you will see tiger but when you roam around again a uh, little bit ahead you will find some more uh, object like bird or some trees or some fruits or uh, say river mountain so uh, all this data needs to be feed manually and again to create algorithm to identify each and every object like mountain or uh, bottle or whatever object you say a bird tree lion human to create a model manually it is a very 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 complex and it takes a lot of time and uh, practically it is very very uh, difficult or complex to make it easy or simple what uh, machine learning does or what is the concept of machine learning is like you provide some data say uh, image 
with some modeling or some labeling uh, so if you take an image uh, you you will map each and every data inside the picture say this is the giraffe this is the deer this is the dog this is the lion you will label inside the picture and you will make computer understand that this is giraffe this is this is uh, peacock uh, whatever the object you will try to make computer understand that this is all object inside this picture now once you have a lot of data feed inside the uh, algorithm uh, the model of, or the machine learning will analyze that data and then there will be one output now machine learning is what a very high level it will relate the input with the output data so again uh, i will come back to the example of uh, gboard uh, in the mobile uh, you will type something and it will predict the next word so this is the type is the input the predict is the output and the computer meaning your mobile uh, machine learning uh, model will relate the output with the input which you have fed so this is a uh, very high level of machine learning uh, let's understand in business this machine learning and artificial intelligence is currently in use so a very good example is in in us recently amazon has created one store and it is completely human less so a computer will take inventory of each and every product inside the departmental store supermarket and as soon as uh, people take out the or buy the product it will analyze which all product are of less in stock or which requires to be filled in and then based on that it will provide the output or it will indicate the person uh, storekeeper offline storekeeper to amazon that this all product are now shortage of shortage and this needs to be filled up so this is one of that example where computer vision will identify all the object and then it will help you to uh, uh, provide some uh, prediction of uh, shortage of data so another example is in the farming in the farming from the available data from the map you would know that which all part of the particular area of the farm is most fertile the other example is uh, like uh, there is a on site store where you need to find out uh, you uh, suppose you want to buy a t-shirt and you have a specific requirement say i want a collar t-shirt and i want a v-shaped t-shirt then it should be in a blue color and uh, it should not have a stripe it should be a plain and all this criteria will be classified inside the machine learning model and based on the search criteria like you say a blue t-shirt with collar without stripe plain based on that it will analyze the data and provide you the output so this is all a uh, kind of uh, high level example of machine learning and uh, ai i hope the information whatever i have provided so far you liked it and uh, it will be useful to you if it is really useful please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, like this video just go to youtube uh, app and there is a subscribe button say uh, press subscribe and like the video and again don't forget to share this video to your friends so they will also you know make use of this video to understand what is machine learning and what is artificial intelligence thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in uh, next technology episode till that time you guys take care and see you soon bye bye take very good care and uh, stay safe stay home bye bye